everyone and welcome back to my channel. In a joint statement announcing their separation, the former spouses say they made the decision after much thought and with great sadness, hinting that it's amicable. Babyface is a single man again. The 12-time Grammy award-winning artist and his wife Nicole Pattenberg, who share a child together, are calling it quits after seven years of marriage. The former couple broke the news in a joint statement released to the press on Tuesday, July 13th. After much thought and with great sadness, we've decided to end our marriage, so they said. Hinting that it's amicable, they added, we continue to care and have respect for one another and share eternal love for our daughter and her well-being. The former spouse has also asked for personal privacy for ourselves and our daughter as we navigate these new steps as a family. It's currently unclear what led to the split and it's unknown if they plan on filing for divorce to officially end their marriage. Babyface began dating Nicole, aka Nikki, who was his backup dancer, in 2007. Nicole is also a former backup dancer for and personal friend of Janet Jackson. In 2008, the then couple welcomed a daughter named Peyton Nicole. They only got married around six years later in 2014 after seven years together. The nuptials were reportedly attended by guests like Oprah Winfrey and Carol B. Sager. It was his second marriage. Babyface was previously married to TV producer and personality Tracy Edmonds, whom he met in 1990 when she auditioned for the music video for his song Whip Appeal. They tied the knot on September 5th, 1992 and have two sons, Brandon and Dylan. Tracy filed for divorce in January 2005 after 12 years of marriage. They were officially divorced in October of the same year. The latest split comes around a year after Babyface and his family quietly battled coronavirus. In April 2020, the 62-year-old singer-songwriter announced on his birthday, I would like to warmly thank everyone for all the birthday wishes today. I feel so blessed to be able to celebrate another birthday. I tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, as did my family, he continued, calling the experience an incredibly scary thing to go through. The When Can I See You crooner went on assuring everyone that he and his family are now doing OK. I'm happy to report that we have now tested negative and are on our way back to full health, he added. He also sent a message to his followers on the caption, stay home, stay safe. What do you think about Babyface ending his marriage? Comment down below to let us know. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.